All right, dudes and dudettes. Last episode, we went ahead and set up the refined storage system. This episode, we're going to be kind of going a little bit further into auto crafting with refined storage. All right, peeps. So last episode, we set this bad boy up. All of our items are located within here. We can go ahead. We need to bet that back to normal. Dang it. I messed it up. Don't, don't, don't follow me. Size, medium, large. Yes. This is what we want. Look at all those items. So stinking awesome. Oh my gosh, I love it. So, what do we need to do for auto crafting? Well, there's a few different things. For one, we need to start off with this pattern, which is just glass, redstone, and quartz enriched uh, iron. So, we're going to go ahead and do this, and we're going to put this in here. Because we are making silicone, but that can wait. We can go ahead and make some more quartz enriched iron. I thought that was a slime for a second. I was going to go kill it. Okay, so let's see here. Pattern. So we should be able to make a few of these. We got three of them. Uh, we would like to make more, but we're running low on the iron. So anyway, pattern grid. Pattern grid is a lot like a normal, you know, grid, but it's pattern. <laughs> Uh, I feel dumb for saying that. Okay, so frick, let's click here, click here. What do we need to make you? We need this guy, okay. We, oh frick. Frick, I messed up. Okay, nope, nope, here. Okay, we need this guy, and then we also looks like we need a little bit of the gold. Oops, recipe maybe of that. Okay, we'll go ahead and get these guys smelted up, no problem. All right, so we have those dudes. Very cool. Oh, no. Shmoosh. Okay, so we might need to make a few plates. I just thought about that. Um, so we'll need four electrum. That's five. Ooh, that was weird. And then we'll need a little bit of... Do we have any iron left? Oh, we don't. That's a problem. Okay, time to get some more iron. Jeepers. Scooter. Oh my gosh, that is so much overworld matter. Alrighty, so I got a little lazy here, and I set up an auto sieve for this. Uh, oh, it seems like we are running kind of low on the power here. I'm going to go ahead and disconnect this here, because I don't want the blast chiller running, because I'm pretty sure it still is. We probably have a bit of lava in here. We do. We have 64 obsidian as well, which is actually kind of awesome. But let's see. That's not helping. I might need to go ahead. I might have to add another windmill up there, which isn't too crazy. Uh, how much power are we drawing here? 12 FE. So we're not we're not drawing a whole lot of power with this guy, which is great. Until we get into the auto crafting, and it's gonna get uh, it's gonna get pretty power hungry. So we're gonna need to look at some power options. All right, so we got the pattern grid here. Everything's good to go. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and put this guy right here. Uh, so all we do is we take our patterns and we put them here, right? Bam! And so this will allow us to create the patterns for the crafters. Um, it's kind of weird that they have you make that before they make the before you make the crafters. So this guy is what handles all of the crafting that we do. Uh, it basically acts like a three by three area and you can set custom um, stuff with it. So for those, you can set custom patterns is what I mean. I don't know why I'm making up stuff. All right, this guy and this guy. Okay, so we gotta smelt up these dudes. And the cool thing is you can also automate uh, furnaces. Um, so not only will it act like a, uh, a crafter itself, but it will also act like a very smart hopper that will take items out of the uh, system, force them into like a furnace or like a machine like this, the induction smelter, and then process the items. And then once they're done, it kind of gets rid of them and puts them back into the storage. So yeah, very, very smart system. So we're just going to let the two here go. And da -da 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 we're going to get this going. Okay. So crafter, we should have everything. Oh, we don't have that guy. Okay, so the plates, uh, eight. All right, so we're gonna make two. We're gonna make two crafters because why not? 
because we can. Uh, we also need to find a way to make plates a heck of a ton easier. I'm also going to need to go ahead and grab some lava real quick. Cool thing is, is I can very easily find my bucket now, which uh, we don't have to start looking around. I just type in bucket. Oh, look at that. There it is. And we have a lot of those bucks, I just realized. Uh, so we just come up here, grab this guy, and we... Why do I have lava? Oh, for the... This guy over here, so we can keep going. Yes. So we're also going to throw the Electrum in here as well. And once that's done, yep, it is already pouring. So, I mean, this is actually a pretty good way of doing it. So we'll see what happens. We might just set this up automatically and set up a auto lava generator. Because uh, all we would need to do is set up a hopper or a system to pull the items out of here going into our... Uh, refined storage system and then a crafter on the back of this basically pumping whatever we wanted converted into the um the plates i mean this it's a one-to-one -one, so anything that we pump in would come back out as a plate that's actually not a bad idea honestly kind of automating tinker's construct which is something i don't think i've ever done like that I mean, I have done it to where you're doubling your ores and pulling them out, kind of like we are doing now. We just set up like a hopper like this and you put your items in. But other than that, I haven't really done it. So that could be fun. All right. So we have everything to make two of these. Those stack. Oh, we have, we can make three of them. Cool. That means we didn't need to make the one in the first place. Don't. Okay. So crafter, bam a lamb. There we go. Crafter is made. We're just going to put this guy here like so. Now we're going to... We don't want anything going in here. Okay, so now we are drawing 20 FE per tick. Uh, poor system. This is staying charged. This is probably not. Yeah, it's going slow. We need to grab some of those bucks and buy another one of those real quick. All right, so I went ahead and bought two. So we're not going to need to really upgrade for a bit. Now, I do want to eventually set up a whole bunch of these windmills in one area because I typically do that for just the uh, the power that keeps coming back. You know, we don't really have to worry about it. Uh, the cool thing is we picked up those blocks, so we're going to be able to utilize those guys right away. All right. Him there. Oh gosh, are we gonna die? Okay, we're going to go into wrench mode. Okay. I'm not going to lie, that was some pretty quick thinking on my part, which is not something I do very often. You know, breaking the cables down below. Okay. But we are safe. Kind of. Maybe. We're never safe. You're with me. You're never safe. Okay. Okay. So now this thing should have plenty of power. Oh, yes. Look at all of that power coming in. Yes, full-on power. Okay, so now we don't have to worry about it. Very cool. So the crafter. What is something that we want to have automated? What is something we craft a lot? Um, that's a good question. Let's get the, yeah, we'll get the wooden hoppers because we typically craft these a lot. Okay, so it's going to say... We don't want that in there. We want a normal oak chest. Okay, so here's our here's our two different crafting recipes. Okay, so we have our oak chest, and then we are going to have that. Doesn't need to be exact. Um, frick. All right, so let's make up a, an oak chest real quick. As you can see, it is craftable. Say so we'll make four of them. There we go. All right, so now we come back here. We're going to swap this out. So it's going to require an oak chest and oak planks to make a wooden hopper. So now we put this guy in here. All right, now if we want a wooden... Whoop. 
a wooden hopper. It says craft. We click on it. It says 10. Uh, and then we hit start. So it will craft up both the chests and all of the all of the wooden hoppers so now we'll have just a kind of a whole bunch sitting there waiting to be crafted which is super duper cool so that's pretty much the first recipe done um do we have any more patterns that we can craft up right now we do cool we oh i need those i need those game i, I said game but i'm the one who put them in there all right, and then we're also going to want one to turn oak logs into planks so that the whole system is automated. So make the planks, make the chest, make the hoppers. Cool. So those are all good to go. Uh, we should also make one for the blast furnace uh, because we do typically make that a lot. And then we can also get into something crazy like automating the induction smelter, which we'll get into a little bit later because I need to kind of finalize this room. Uh, and then we're also going to be building this same design in each four corners so i need to figure out if i'm gonna have all of like i might just make this storage and then baby tinkers and then we'll have stuff in the other directions as well so we might be doing that a little later but look at all of that silicone we got super duper neat bro all right guys so i want to go ahead and automate the creation of the uh the processors from Refined storage. So what we're going to go ahead and do is create... We don't have any redstone in here. Where did all of my redstone go? That's kind of weird. Okay. Well, we're going to go ahead and make a redstone furnace. All right. And we're just going to go ahead and put him right there. All right. We're going to make a crafter as well. We already have it. I don't know why I'm making another one. What are we missing for this other crafter? Okay, we need to make a little bit more of the quartz enriched iron, which we can go ahead and do. We're just going to go ahead and do that real quick. Uh, this stuff processes pretty fast, which I'm pretty happy about. So let's get those guys in there. Okay. And so we're basically going to take one of these guys and point it facing up, and the input will be uh, from the bottom. And then we're going to have to make one more thing called an importer. This guy here that will take the items out of the, I guess you could call them, out of the block and put them into the system. So that's what we want. Going to go ahead. You got 16. Very cool. As we went from 12 to 16, I thought that was a 1 to 3 ratio. Anyway, um, here we go. Craft up 12 of those. And then one of these. And then we gotta make another one of these. Oops, missed it. Whoops, one more step. And that should be enough. Yes, we have our crafter. Okay, so. Nope, that didn't go right. Ah, uh, we need to repair. All right, so we're just going to break this dude and see if we can get this to face upward. There we go. All right. So then we're going to get another cable. Get one of those. A couple of these. So this will... We're going to have to power it from the top, like so. So now we're getting power in here. Yep. All right. And then we're going to be taking out here and then you can simply just put a cable like so because as long as it's connecting to something that's connected to the network it's good to go so then we're going to configure this so that the back is the push out all right so now let's go ahead and we'll get the advanced processors all right and then the uses for this is for that so this is a processing version uh, so it just means that it, whatever we give this to it will give us this back um, so this is where this guy goes and this is where this guy goes all right so now we're going to go ahead and make the basic processor ones as well and then we're going to need two more of those guys so then this guy here and then this guy here. So let's see if it's working. Um, so here we go. We can make, say, we'll try one of these. 
So it's going to craft it up. As you can see, it's already made it and it is getting smelted. Once it get puts, gets put here, gets put back into the system. So now if we check for the processor, bam, it's sitting right there. Very cool. All right, so we need to make at least two more of these guys. Do we have everything for them? No, I don't believe so. Yeah, we are missing the stuff here. Let's grab that real quick. All right, quartz enriched iron is back in our system. Like this, one, two, that's all we need for it. Put them here like so. Okay, so we got this guy, and then uses, bam. So all of the processors are now automated. As long as we have the materials in our system here, they will be able to be crafted. Um, so yeah, if we go ahead and do this, we can go click, make two of them, bam. And this is powered by uh, po the, the power, so we don't need to put any like coal or anything to charge it or to use the furnace, it just runs. Very, very cool. Okay, so I think it's very important that we go over uh, making some uh, an enchanting table so we can go ahead and enchant these diamond meshes and our tools as well. Uh, so the best way to get leather in this is through, I already had it up, oof. Best way to get leather is through the straining. Uh, we, did, we were able to make their survivalist strainer. Um, but let's see here. I would like to go ahead. Okay, yes, we have the ability to make the the obsidian one. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Uh, let's grab this guy. This guy. All right, we'll put him. Oop, not there. Put him in here. Perfect. All right, so the reinforced survivalist generator, the strainer. This is what we want. Okay. So we click here, grab the obsidian one, uses, bam. So this, we're going to make actually two of these. All right, so these have a heck ton of uses for them. They won't break very quickly, which is good. Uh, and we do have the two strainers down below where I'm thinking this probably isn't the best place to put them, but we're going to do it anyway. Bait redundant. Okay. Oh, 20 enchantable as well. Oh, cool. So we're looking here. We're just going to take all of these items out because we're going to get big stuff for them, right? Be like, oh, look, you did a bunch of stuff. Sea junk. Yay, we have the sea junk. So cool. All right, now, wait, what do we do with the saddle? We did get it. Okay, so a pulverizer, we can make it. Uh, and then if we also, oh, we can turn it into two. I think the pulverizer would be best for that. But we're not going to do that just yet. All right, do we have any more of the worms? Oof, we only have 11 silkworms. That's not nearly enough. Okay. How do we, what do we use with these guys? The bait pod, right? Nope, we messed up. Okay, back here. We're going to make a bait pot like so. There we go. And we're going to swap out the other one. And then we're going to go AFK for quite a while. Um, we're going to let these guys just go. So swap out for a new one. Add that one in. And then let's see, 22, 23. So 28 there and 28 there. Perfect. All right. We'll let this go for a bit. And it wouldn't be a bad idea. I'm probably going to make it off camera, but the pulverizer so that we can go ahead and pulverize those saddles into leather because we need a total of 45, actually 46 leather to make the entire enchanting system. So uh, we are only at nine. So we do need quite a bit more. Okay. So we do have a pulverizer here. I went ahead and I guess pulverized our other saddles because they're not really useful in an all uh, water world. So that means more for us. We have a total of eight now, bringing us up to 42. We're so stinking close. Uh, but we do need to get some paper. Um, 
Let's see here. We can use the old uh, hammer trick on some wood logs. That is going to be what I'm going to go ahead and do. Uh, <laughs> I don't really feel like uh, trying to get sugarcane. So we'll just be here like so. We'll just grab a few of these. We're going to make a diamond wand as well. We're going to fill this area up real quick so that we can go ahead and um, you know get some paper so we can start to make some of this stuff. Oh no, dolphin died. Rest, rest in pepperonis, dolphin. Look at that. All of that sawdust. I do like that they added in the, the paper recipe with the wood chippings. Okay, I think we got enough paper. <laughs> Alright, let's make a book. There we go. And then let's go ahead and make an enchanting table. I almost clicked that. All right, enchanting table. And then books. Books, 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 books. All right, so we got 12. We're almost there. We just, just need a wee bit more. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so with this, that means it is fully enclosed. Bam, level 30 enchants. So amazing. Oh, man, this is cool. All right, so let's grab a torch so we can go ahead and light that real quick. Uh, we don't want any bad monsters spawning. That should be good. Yes. We will change this up a little bit. I'll probably end up putting these guys along the side to make it look a little bit better. But, yes, we have everything we need to enchant except uh, some extra levels. So I'm going to be going and taking this here. They disabled it. Oh my gosh. You've... What? Oh, this is how you do it. Okay, so you can't just straight up enchant it. You have to add the book to it. So it means that we need to continue to get... How did you get there? That's weird. Anyway, um, there is a way to make some books kind of kind of cheaty, but it is a bit expensive. Um Let's see if we can get a good book. Holding protection pedestal area. Mm, nope. Nope, not not very good. Nope, nope. All right, let's get a grindstone over here so we can go ahead and remove the enchants that we don't like. Get a little bit of levelage back. Efficiency 2. We'll take it. Okay, so we need to make an anvil real quick. Where's my iron? There's my iron. Okay, and we'll get rid of you. Bam, anvil time. Okay, so we'll grab this mesh here. Bam, we like it. Gonna take it and come... Huh. So, we can't really do a whole lot. Um, what about you? Mending, breaking, curse of vanishing, tombstone. Nope, we can't enchant this guy any of the meshes at all. So that was kind of a waste. I mean, not kind of, but a lot of a waste. But we can enchant our gear, I guess, when we get some. <laughs> uh, we do have quite a bit of diamonds. So, yeah. Anyways, I'll see you all in the next video. Take care. Peace out. Chanting tables are worthless in this mod pack. Bye-bye. <laughs>